This is my second power talk, and this one actually is particularly special, actually because one of the sponsors, Royal Roads University. When I found out that Royal Roads University was going to be a sponsor for today's event, I knew that I needed to share a story with you that ties to why I'm standing in front of you today. In 2010, my dear friend graduated from Royal Roads University and had invited me to her Master's in Leadership ceremony. I was unbelievably excited at this opportunity. I had never been to the campus before. And when we arrived that day, there was this beautiful stage set up with the castle in the background, and I was just in complete awe of the surroundings. However, when I watched her walk across the stage with her peers, to get her diploma, or to her, her degree, there was this sense of fulfillment, this sense of excitement, and this sense of completion that came over me. And then this voice in my head that said, you want this too. And I was quite shocked. <laughs> and I actually remember sitting back in my seat because I had never attended one of my own graduations in the past due to fears and anxieties. And yet, here I was watching somebody else's graduation, reflecting on her experiences, and knowing that I needed the exact same thing. It took me a couple years, a few years, <laughs> and some really hard personal and professional experiences. But I did it. In 2013, I attended my first university class. I had taken a fear that I had for more years than I could possibly count by the horns. And I also addressed something else that had been stirring in me for a very long time. I had to let on a secret that I had been holding on for more years than I could count. I had to let my cohort know that I had a reading comprehension challenge that caused me not to attend and to avoid any academics up until that point in time. All that fear, all the belief systems about myself that I had held on for so long came to the surface. That I'm not good enough, I'm not capable, I don't belong here, I do not add up, and I have no idea if I can actually make this happen. However, I was met with such kindness, such compassion, and such encouragement from my cohort that although those two years were extremely difficult for me, in 2015, I walked across that stage, and that sense of completion and that sense of fulfillment and that sense of confidence that I had witnessed for somebody else became my own. And this time, it was tenfold, and this time, with so many experiences that I can't even begin to express to you what it has done for my life. Fears and anxieties are not an easy feat. However, if we want to step into possibilities of the future, we cannot with, be in it with our mind in the past. And the fact is that when we experience fears and anxieties, they are often not in the reality of what's happening in front of us. They are something that has happened from before. And sometimes they're not even our own. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. Right? We live in a world that is constantly changing. The only real constant, they say, what, what is it? I think it's birth, death, and taxes, right? <laughs> However, I believe there's something else. I believe it's the core of who we are. And I believe that when we don't pay attention to the core of who we are, when we let fears and anxieties rule our life, we live and lead from a place of disease and unauthentic connections. The things that we really want in life, the things that we want to accomplish, we don't. We feel trapped. Our freedom becomes compromised. And as a result, we become inactive. The things that used to light us on fire and get our hearts all excited about purpose and being in life smolder out. 
happiness and fulfillment becomes something for somebody else and depression sets in. We stop making commitments and we stop taking risks. Anybody familiar with that? Right? Resonating with you? However, what I can tell you from my personal, my professional, and now my academic experiences is that when we insert fe uh, space in between our fear and we start to reflect and we start to examine and we start to learn, all kinds of amazing things start to happen. We move from a state of being inactive to a state of being in action. All of a sudden, that life comes back into us and possibilities start to happen. However, it's when we learn three particular pieces of information Three particular knowledge areas that things really do start to change. And I know because I've lived it, I've learned it, and I've experienced it. The first piece of knowledge is who we are. It is about our values. It's about how we lead our lives. It's about the things that stop us from being successful. And it's about our MO, how we roll in our world. The second piece is about community. The second piece is about how we define community, what it means to us, the systems that are at play in our world, and how it works for us and against us depending on how we define it, and then how to use it for us, with us, for others. And the third part of information, the third part of no uh, the knowledge piece, is about contribution. It's about our worldly service. It's about our citizenship in the world. It's about taking the best of ourselves and the best of community and actually creating something that lights us on fire, that we take great pride in doing, and we are become unstoppable. Charlene is a perfect example of this. When we take ourselves and we take community and we take our contribution to the world, all kinds of amazing things start to happen. We've seen it here with all the speakers here today. It's really, truly incredible. How many of you, let me try this here for a second. How many of you would like to see somebody in your life feel more freedom, more happiness, more success, and taking a gift that they have and bringing it into the world? Everybody, okay. How many of you would like to overcome a fear or anxiety that you have and like to create something or magnify something or expand something in your world so that you experience more happiness, more fulfillment, more success, and become more at peace with who you are in the world? Well, you can. What I did is I created a program called the Fundamentals of Effective Leadership that take and create and support you to be the best of who you are, to help you to redefine what community means to you and how you can use it for yourself and with others in, uh, around you, and really understand and connect to your contribution in the world, why you are here, to light yourself on fire in a safe environment. It's a 16-hour program that will support you in a safe way to explore what's stopping you and moving you away from what you really want to do and get you connected to the people, to yourself, in a way that has meaning and purpose. My goal is that um, to have 100 Canadians, 100 Canadians who are ready to take life by the horns and complete this course in a way that is meaningful to them, meaningful to the communities, and mean meaningful, excuse me, to our world. And I need your help. My ask is that with your support, I want to create a network of 100 Canadians across the country that are living life in this way. I'm looking for associations, organizations, I'm looking for communities, in educational institutions, and individuals who are ready to live life at their full purpose and meaning in the world so that we can create something that's different, more powerful, and more positive, and move people from a state of being inactive to a place of inaction. The only thing that I am driven by the most 
is providing space for people to reach their full potential in the world, to be the best person that they can possibly be, to create more freedom, more happiness, and more success, like others have done for me. Thank you. Thank you.